Hello darlings, my name is Nikima and we are Spain Homes. Today I am in the historically, culturally rich town of Elche. This beautiful town is in the coast of the Costa Blanca and also in the province of Alicante, just 20 minutes away from Alicante Airport. I'm going to be showing you a superb, peaceful and well-loved classical traditional Mediterranean family villa. This particular property is on a plot of 4,774 square meters and the villa itself is 514 square meters. It offers five bedrooms, four bathrooms and is distributed on three floors. So let's start the tour. I'm walking down this very distinct and beautiful driveway that feels like I'm entering into a peaceful retreat of an oasis as a living residence. This driveway is extensive and as it goes along you can see that it's natural stoned, it is gravel on the flooring and it is bordered by very high and well established trees. You will also find that now I'm going to show you around the grounds of the home and we will see how beautifully mature and well kept they have this garden. So as I'm coming along the drive, you can see that this is the area where you can directly park your vehicles outdoors. So there's plenty of space there, but further on there is also a garage that I'll show you in a little while. As the plot is 4,774 square meters, you find that there is an extensive amount of beautiful, well-adorned and mature relaxation spaces, natural lawn gardens and terraces that surround the property. As you can see, like what is distinct about most of the houses I come to love in Elche itself, is that you get an incredibly beautiful amount, sumptuous in fact, of outdoor space to play with, which in this Mediterranean climate is definitely necessary. So as I'm taking you across the gravel path some more, I took you over the bridge. This would be your garage, which is enough for two vehicles. As you can see, he has it as a bit of a workshop as well, the owner. And I'm taking you across this area here where you have more incredible palm trees, also very distinct for Elche, a children's playground on this side. And you even have, if you have pets, a place for them to sleep. And then here you also have your own area where you can grow your vegetables, taking you through into another area of the gardens into what they call La Huerta. You can see that this area has been dedicated to fruit trees, and is an extension of your garden spaces. They also have, or in the past, kept animals in this coop on this side to my right. So if you do like having your own animals, like your chickens or your geese, then you have a spot for that too. So I'm gonna take you back through and we're gonna explore the garden some more. And as we're approaching closer to the home, you get to see the architectural design. It is of a Mediterranean classic design and it has been recently reformed to be exquisite on the inside. But can you see the lush, dense vegetation that not only gives you intimacy and privacy, but also gives you shade where you might want to need it in those warmer months. So now I'm gonna take you across 
the natural stone pathway. And we are going across the front of the home. And you can see here that this is an upper terrace as you would enter that is dedicated to lounging outdoors and even dining outdoors. But there are multiple spaces in the property where you can do that. I'm gonna take you around this way. I'm gonna take you over this side. So you can see the vast, immense size of some of these palm trees. Absolutely incredible. And it's not just palm trees, it's all kinds of plants and flowers that decorated the gardens with. As you can see, it's a fully functioning and well-loved family home. Here is another extension of your gardens, a natural lawned garden space. And here we have a barbecue kitchen. This outdoor kitchen comes fully equipped. You have a dining space that's set to dine four, two sinks, storage cabinetry and storage tops. And you also have your cooking range and your refrigerator. I love the fact that it is also through these columns giving you shelter and shade where you need it. Coming across the way some more, I'm now going to take you to the outdoor swimming pool. And it is bordered by a fence for safety, as they do have little children. And you come into this beautiful oasis of a shell-shaped swimming pool. You have steps that lead down from one side, across the way, and it gradually gets deeper but you also have an amazing space around it, terracotta stone flooring terrace for you to lounge in, for you to also sunbathe in, for your kids to play games on. Taking you around the swimming pool away, past the outdoor lounging area and overlooking the sun lounging area, I'm going to show you where you have the dressing rooms, the showers and the toilets for the comfort of those that are outdoors and are also using the swimming pool. So we go down the steps. I'm just going to switch that light on. And down here you actually have dressing rooms and bathrooms for your convenience to use whilst you are outdoors enjoying the swimming pool. This here is a doorway that leads to a storage room also that can house various things to do with the swimming pool's functionality. Currently, it is a salt water swimming pool. Taking you across the lawn, out from where the swimming pool was, and I'm going to take you now to the home. So as you can see here, this is a room that gives you access directly onto where the swimming pool area is, going along the stone paved path and onto the upper porch where you have the front door and the entrance to this home. So here underneath you can see that you have your relaxation zones directly outside the house. You have a dining space here that is set to dine six and also an outdoor lounge but check out the beauty and the splendor of this garden. This is your front door. Hello. So as I come in through the entry hall, this is a spacious and beautiful entry hall. 
it is 24 square meters and the ceiling height on the ground floor throughout is 2.7 meters as you can see the interior design is classic and mediterranean and they have gone with the valencian tosca walls they also have a beautiful porcelain stone tile flooring and a marble flooring staircase so as you come in from the entry I'm now going to take you over the way to the living areas of the home we come in to what is a very open and spacious warm and inviting living room this living room is 50 square meters it has natural stone walls on one side pockets and accents of LED lighting which give it that atmospherical vibe but I also really love that in this space you have these large windows that allow you to get gorgeous views of your gardens not to mention even on those brighter days because the windows are anti-glare as well as double glazed you get a limited filter of light as well which is really comforting this area of the space, you also have doors that lead out into the outdoor dining space. And across the way, through the opening of the doors that you can have open or closed here, I'm taking you into what would be either the second living area or the dining area. This space is 36 square meters. It has a Japanese feel with doors and windows that surround it completely. But you can see that it has these great screens that give you pockets of shade where you might need it. They also have the doors there that open out completely and allow you access to the swimming pool. They are using this space as the kids play area. So I'm gonna take you across through the living room once more back into the entry hall and now we are going to show you the open dining room and kitchen. This dining room and kitchen combined is 36 square meters. It is again warm and inviting. They have gone for the tones of brown and black. So here in the kitchen you can see that it is an American style kitchen. You have your central island which is a breakfast bar to seat three on one side and also where you would do your cooking with your electric hob here in the middle on this side. You also have lots of storage cabinetry underneath in the central island which are deep and wide, an accent of LED lights to illuminate it beautifully. And then you have a continuation of your cabinets, your appliances, etc., on this back wall. So you have your cupboards for storage you also have your electrical appliances like your d dishwasher a double sink your microwave and oven and then you also have your refrigerator on this side too to this door you can find that this is the utility room on one side you have storage cabinets and on the other side space for your washing machine and tumble dryer now what I do love about the kitchen as well is that you also have this dining space. So let's say you still wanted to have that open feel, you could. The dining space is set to dine four and it is also positioned beautifully in front of those sliding patio doors. Now I'm going to take you back into the entry hall and through this entry here you will find that this is the guest suite. So to begin with I'm going to show you the guest bedroom which is warm and a similar interior feel. You have wardrobes on one side and also a window on the other, and it is 10 square meters. Next to that, you have the guest bathroom, which is fully equipped. Going up to the first floor, I absolutely and I'm in awe of this extension of your entry. So as you're coming up to the second floor, you're coming up a marble staircase, you have again these Tosca walls. And can I just say, Tosca walls are quite interesting because they are enigmatic of the culture and the history of the Valencian community. A sandstone that was formed through from sand dunes 100,000 years ago and can still be preserved and used today and in the present day. Really quite splendid. But as I actually arrive also onto this first floor, I love this olive wood flooring. Can I just say, the idea of walking on my feet barefoot on this sounds delicious. So, going across the hall, 
This floor has been dedicated to the bedroom quarters, but at the end of the hall, you'll find it is currently being used, the second bedroom, as an office. This office offers 17 square meters. You can see that it has windows on one side, letting in excellent views of your gardens and also plenty of natural light. And on one side, it's also hexagonal shaped, which gives it a really nice separation entry, the office area and also this lounge area. So coming out of this bedroom, you also then are leading to the main bathroom on this floor, which is fully equipped. And then as we come along the hall some more, I'm now going to take you to the next bedroom, which is 16 square meters. This bedroom has a similar interior feel. You have integrated wardrobes directly in front of the bed space, and you also have large patio doors that lead to the private terrace. Coming along the hall some more, I'm now going to take you into the other side where there is another bedroom. This bedroom again has doors that lead onto a terrace and lets in lots of natural light. At the other end of the hall you'll find is dedicated to the primary suite. The primary suite is 17 square meters. It has large doors on one side that open onto a private terrace. It also has a dressing room which is really quite nice actually I love this separation as well that you have a potential his and hers or hers and hers or his and his beautiful wardrobe situation here and then doors that lead out onto your own dressing room terrace and then this doorway leads you to the ensuite bathroom which again has two sinks two vanities and even a bath I love the marble decor in this bathroom in particular. To give you an idea of the upper terraces, I'm going to show you around. The house that was actually built in 1997, and what I do love about it, it has been renovated exquisitely to fit modern specifications for day-to-day -day comfort. This terrace, however, is a gorgeous upper wraparound round terrace. A terrace that gives you great views of your gardens, the surrounding landscape, if you can see them behind those trees, and also an extension of your outdoor living spaces. Taking you down to the basement from this beautiful staircase, and you actually even have an entry to your basement. I love this kind of style that they have here with the walls and the ceilings being wood in certain areas. And this they have used as a little study nook. It is actually 14 square meters and you also have a storage cupboard there in the corner. But check out this as a rec room, everybody. A recreational space for you and your family to enjoy, even on those rainy days. They have dedicated this space to just that as a games room for their family. It is 147 square meters and the ceiling height is also still 2.6 meters. You do have also windows that let in pockets of natural light, so it's not so dark. And the smell of the wood in this room because of the flooring is really quite nice. So on this side, you have space for foosball, ping pong, a lounging space, it could be even an indoor gym, however you see fit you would like to use it. So additional information about the home. The property tax or EB is €1,424 Euros per year, there is no community fee and the refuse is €150 Euros per year. This is a superb family home filled with lots of personality, really well cared for, in a beautiful location. After all, Elche is historic, it's cultural, it's vibrant, but it's also peaceful. And the houses in this area of Spain are absolutely distinct. Just 20 minutes away, you are in front of Alicante Airport. You also have beaches, a short drive away, supermarkets, shops, all kinds of wonderful things to do with your spare time. In relation to the home, it gives you all of the modern comfort that you would expect day to day. So it has specifications like an alarm system, electric shutters, anti-glare double glazed windows. You also have LED lighting, central heating and hot and cold air conditioning. 
So if you do like the property and you'd like to know more, then please do check out the finer details on our website, which is spainhomes.estate. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. My name's Nikina, and we'll see you next time. Hasta pronto.